Hey there guys, we're back on Equipment Autopsy, part 2853. Zach and I are taking us apart. So far we've got this separated. We got the back piece off as far as we can, but we can't quite get the arm off, probably because something in Axis 4 is binding. So we're trying to go at it from the back end and see what we can accomplish. Because we can't get this off. We destroyed our gear puller trying to get that off. It was a really cheap, craptacular gear puller, though, so I don't feel too bad about it. So let's see if we can get this. Shit. What? Well, I just think we need a pry bar or something. Ah, we'll, we'll get that. The trick is, I don't know which one of these is the seam that's going to do it, so I'm just starting at this end, and we'll see what happens. Hey, I see some daylight there. Okay, that's, that's doing it. Oh, that moved a whole lot. Cool. Well, now we got a half inch gap. I need something bigger. Yeah. Hang on. I don't know what we have that qualifies as bigger. Oh, that. All right. I'm going to get out of the way. This thing's going to come down. So Just it can't fall. That's supported. So it can't go that way. We're cool there. This I'm, thing, if this thing going to run the risk of tipping the forklift over? Huh? No. I'll I don't think this is going to fall back. I think that this is going to swing that way in some way. No, I think the worst that could happen is this is going to fall down. Okay. And it, it'll get caught by the sling, so we're cool. So go ahead and do your thing. Just make sure your feet are in a good spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm out of pry. You're out of pry. Um, let me see if I can move it. Actually, no. Well, yeah. With a forklift. Well, I was thinking that I can... Let's hear that or we, we can... That does it. All right, let's bring this down now. This one has to go down. Okay, let me get out of here. That. All right, I'm bringing it down. Oh, there you go. Like yeah. A hand. yeah, it gets way easier. Yeah, spline shaft, triple spline shaft. Well, double at least. Yeah, double spline shaft. And you are clear. It's coming right out. At this point, the arm is floating. And it, it looks like a Bond weapon, really. <laughs> <laughs> Stick a laser on the end of it, take a picture. Yeah, it needs a laser. Giant frickin' laser. Yeah. Oh, this will be way easy to get apart now that we can get into it. You killed Johnny Five. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, I think this is clear. We're good there. Now we need... Keep, keep going. This is going to suck. You serious? Yeah. Oh, it's going to suck bad. There are six hex head bolts in there of about, oh, get, a centimeter. Get an air gun. <laughs> yeah, we need an air gun extension. be great right about now. We're going to do this with Allen wrenches and a piece of pipe, though, because we're ghetto, but we're shooting in high def. We're a real show. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hey. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll I, I could say about three things right now. Yeah, but, just bring that yeah. back to the stops. The cool thing is, though, now we've totally split these so we can get these things off that we couldn't get off before because mm -hmm. we can get right in here. But in theory, we can pull this back, and the arm will... F will end up suspended by the forklift. Is it the right way? No, you're going the wrong way. Figures. That was the easy way. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me try something. Just drive the forklift off. Yeah, I'm driving the forklift back. Uh, Don't back into the cameras. All right, you ready? How much do you need that? Just a little bit. Okay, I'll let you know when you have All right, you ready? Hang on, I'm locked. Wait. You got about a foot and a half. Hang on, I need something to lock this gear with. Oh, I got it. You got it? Go. The hell was that? I don't know, but pieces are coming off. Oh, I see what happened. What happened? Your uh, safety pin just sheared. Oh, cool.
All right, I'm going to back up a little more. All right, get out of there. I'm out. There, now we're down to where it's safe and we don't have to worry about stuff. Cool! And this is... I don't know what's left to hold that on, but it can't be too much. A couple of bolts. Um, what I was thinking was if we had wrapped the chain around it, we could pull the shaft off the end. Yeah, and we'll, we'll definitely attempt something like that in a bit. Mm -hmm. um, for now... I think that counts. Let's see if we can knock this loose a little. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 All right. Because now it's a lot safer. Wow. See if you can split those two. And I'm going to see if I can turn this ring here, because i got a bang ring right here. Ah! <clears throat> can you make the end not turn? The end? See that? Aha. You got it? Maybe. Go. You wedged? Oh, yep. yeah. Some little German man put this on here in like five seconds with the perfect tool. <laughs> nah. I nah, hope nah. he dies in a fire. <laughs> 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 or a beetle. <laughs> I'm just saying. Little German man out there, wherever the hell you are, <laughs> I hope that you are eaten by bees. <laughs> yeah, it's keyed. I just don't know what or why. I think it keys to the inner race of the bearing. Yeah, but so that would lock the bearing off. onto the spin. shaft, but that would also mean that the shaft's locked. Well, this was where we had the big ring and the nylock nut was on these teeth. So that tells me if those come off this way, this comes off this way. It's just not polite about it. But there there it goes. we go. See, we had to quit being polite about it. You flexing your side? <laughs> you doing a damn thing over there? <laughs> no. <laughs> ah! Aha. Uh -huh. I got bearing. Glorious. Here, set that down easy on the floor. Got it. So I think that's it for the day. All right. All right. We got to look at the camera now. Get, get back in your shot. Yeah. Got it. All right, guys. We want to thank you for watching on today's adventure, Equipment Autopsy Series. I'm Project Kevin. We'll be back again tomorrow, but that's it for day one. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. What'd yeah. you think? Did you learn anything? Yeah. We got to learn about robots. Yeah. Cool. So I learned that you weigh about 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I weigh 135 pounds, I'll have you know. I'm ripped, dude. I'm uh -huh. buff. Yeah, you and that Belgian. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a manly man. <laughs> you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with Zeke. I, I do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. That's Zach Briggs. We'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs>